Please don't make this more difficult than it needs to be, okay? Will you wait one? Sir, 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 I am warning you, sir. You're pushing it. Sir, sir, I am warning, sir. Sir, sir, sir. Okay. Is that enough, sir? He'll be back, he'll be back. It is not easy to replace a guy like James Houston. Right, because all he did for Jackson State last season was have 60 tackles. Uh, what was it? 20 and a half tackles for loss, 14 and a half sacks on top of eight QB hurries and seven forced fumbles. He was the driving force for that JSU defense. He did it all. He made the play when it needed to be made. You know, like my grandma always used to say, you know, he may not come when you want him, but he always on time when she was talking about God, right? Not comparing James to God, clearly, right? But the same thing applies with him. James, in plenty of situations, he may not have came when you wanted him to, but he was always on time when you needed him to be there, right? He always made the play when it counted. And this, this kid we're going to be talking about, Mr. Frankie Burgess, is going to be able to replace him. And I feel confident in saying that. Now, if y'all would remember a couple of months ago, I made a video on Frankie Burgess saying he is the guy that JSU needs to get. He is going to be the replacement for him. Now, it's the same way I was right when I announced James Houston during my uh, birthday weekend when I was in Atlanta. The same way I was right about him and confident saying that he was going to be the driving force for JSU's defense. I feel confident in saying the same thing for Frankie Burgess. I feel very confident. And I'm just going to go out on the record and put it out there now. So listen, I'm going to show y'all three clips, right? And I'm going to play the rest of his highlights later, at, later on as I'm rambling. But I'm going to play three clips where I show y'all the production, right, that he's gonna bring to Jackson State because believe me, this kid has it, okay? He's not a Shamar Stewart. He's not a strength and length kind of guy because there's three ways to rush the quarterback above many. There's three ways. That's why pass rushers come in all shapes and sizes. What he is, is a speed and balance kind of guy. That's what he is. You got length and strength, you got speed and balance, and then you got sheer athleticism, right? He is a speed and balance kind of guy. And I'm going to show you these th three clips right now. Now, the first one we're going to start off with, right? Here he is in practice. You're going to see him. Look at his first step. Boom. Comes off the ball. Fake inside step. Comes back outside. Dips. Tackle has no chance of putting a hand on him. He gets the sack. And that's every single time in his highlight. Now, before I show you the second clip, I want you to know that this is actually the clip where he actually kind of put himself out of position a little bit. And I'm going to show y'all where he messed up at, right? And for all you young defensive linemen out there, what not to do in this clip. But I'm also going to show you how even still, because he's so talented and so gifted, he didn't really put himself out to play that much. He still could very much get the sack, right? Because of his hit point, uh, hit placement. But let's watch. Comes off the ball. Inside step again, great move, but he jumped, right? So you see you see his feet leave the ground for a little bit. Uh, I, I should be replaying it. Hopefully I am. But you see his feet leave the ground uh, as he's coming off of that move on the tackle. You never want to come off of your feet. You never, ever, 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 ever as a defensive lineman want to do that for all you young defensive linemen watching. Don't ever come off your feet, right? Because what a good or experienced offensive tackle is going to do is put his hands on you and push you with everything he got. Now you're on his highlight tape and you're flat on your back. You're probably on a Mr. Go 30 video. But because Mr. Frankie Bridges is so athletic, right, he's able to still land on his feet, get to the quarterback, or at least get in the vicinity of the quarterback. And then another thing you're noticing is that little fake inside jab step. He really sells it. It's beautiful. The head movement, because you know, you ain't going, you can't really sell a fake if your head ain't into it. So he puts his whole head into it. He puts his whole top half into it. He really leans into faking like he's going on the inside. And then he just snaps back outside by um, planting off that inside foot and just exploding back outside. It's beautiful to watch. Now guys, I said I, said I was going to show y'all three clips and I'm going to actually show 
show you for because I really like what he did right here. And the last play that I'm going to show you is even better, right? But you're going to see in this third clip, the offensive lineman is going to meet him, right? He, the offensive lineman is going to get a good start off the ball as well. And he's going to meet him on that outside because he knows that's where uh, Frankie wants to go. But watch what Frankie does. Comes off the ball, offensive lineman is ready for him, plants off that outside leg, comes into the inside while he's ripping the uh, offensive lineman's arm off, arms off of him as well, and he's able to make the sack. It was just that easy for him. Now, in this last clip I'm going to show you, I just need you to see, he ain't even had to do much. He ain't had to use no hands. He just used his dip right this is what i this is what i mean when he said when i said he has great bend which is one of his strengths watch this comes off the ball watch he dip in oh oh <laughs> y'all look at that again look at that again because it's so beautiful man it is so beautiful all right so he comes off dips that inside shoulder tackle don't have a chance that's a sack that's a sack Every time. That is a sack every time. This is what you get in Jackson State when you look at Frankie Burgess. All right, I have high hopes. I have high expectations just because I've been wanting him to commit to Jackson State for the longest. And now that they've got him. Yo, shout out to uh, my boy. Uh, Mr. Aaron Sanders, I, I hope you don't. Remind, I hope you don't mind me saying your name, bro. I really don't. But he's the one who uh, told me that, hey, that's you know that's Frankie in the video. So, hey, I appreciate you because I was waiting. I was still waiting on him. I didn't know he was there already. He ain't even announcing the name. But Jackson State, rest assured, if you do not get Shamar Stewart. You're in good hands with him. He is going to replace that production for James Houston. If he does not lead the swag in sacks. He is damn sure going to lead the swag in quarterback hurries. Mark my words on that. But I think he'll be up there in sacks as well. I just want to go on record and say that. Because, you know, I like being right. Everybody like being right sometimes. I like being right. So, yeah. So, man, listen. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Please keep in mind that if you get Shamar with him and you get to rotate these two guys, <laughs> Or just play both of them on, on opposite ends. Yeah, opposing SWAT teams better be wary because it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty if everything goes the way I plan it to. So, um, I'm not going to ramble on too much because I got other videos to make. But, y'all, this Friday at 7.30, you may have saw him on Off Script. Right on Offscript's channel for an interview, but you're going to see him on mine as well. Mr. Corey Fields, the starting quarterback for South Carolina State, right? In the amazing second half performance that he had. I know y'all remember that, JSU fans. I, I don't know how y'all feeling about that, but you got time to get over it. You had time, right? So please tune in, support your boy, watch that interview because it's going down. It's going to be live. Any questions you got, you can add, ask him yourself, right? I'll, put, I'll highlight your questions for him to ask, answer. And with that being said, you're watching the CFL podcast. I go by the name of Kobe, and I'm out. Peace.